Caroline and today I just did a look that was inspired by seashells to go in my beach series and this is the finished look it's really 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 neutral but if you get up close it's you can't really see it right now the lighting but you can see it in the tutorial it's basically just a like shimmery white on the inner corner and then a taupe and like a light purple color in the outer corner in the crease just because I thought that kind of looked like a seashell you know like if you find seashells in the beach they're like white and then they usually have a little bit of like a bluishy purple um almost brownie kind of like you know what I mean um, color on them too so that's where I got my inspiration from I'll try to put in a picture if I can find one like right now okay so you can't really tell what I mean but I hope you guys get the picture like in your head so yeah so it's just really really pretty um, I really like it and I hope you guys do too it's also just really pretty and wearable for spring and summer so well it's actually summer now so it's summer um well all year round but okay anyway um it's pretty much all drugstore products which is really good so yeah let's get started start off by priming my lids with urban decay eyeshadow primer potion but you can just use any primer that you have or like to use and i'm just gonna rub that in then I'm taking the Revlon Illuminance Cream Eyeshadow Quad in the color Twilight and I'm taking the light skin tone pinky color and applying that on the like inner half-ish of my lid and also putting it under my brow bone and like in the inner corner area. Then I'm taking the lightest silver and I'm putting that in the outer half of my lid. And then I'm going to take the Walk In Eggshells palette from Wet n Wild and I'm going to take the Brow Bone color which is a really shimmery um, like cream and I'm going to pat that over where I put the skin tone color and also like along the inner corner and then I'm going to take the NYX single eyeshadow in the color Frosted Lilac and it's a really pretty frosty purple and I'm going to mix it with the NYX eyeshadow in the color Taupe. This isn't a palette but you can also buy it single if you want to so yeah. And those are what the colors look like. And I'm just going to be mixing them together, so I'm going to put them both on the same brush. And I'm going to be placing that in the outer half of my lid and into my crease, kind of. Then I'm going to take the Silent Treatment Quad, also, or Trio, also by Wet n Wild, and I'm going to take the lid color, which is a, like, mid-tone taupe, and I'm going to apply that into my crease. Then I'm taking the NYX Single Eyeshadow in Frosted Lilac again. And I'm kind of just putting this over the crease area, just to add more purple. Then I'm going to take the brow bone color again from the Walk On Eggshells palette and apply this as a highlight under my brow bone. Then I'm taking the All May Eyeliner Bright Eyes in Cocoa and Pearl, and I'm taking the Cocoa side, and I'm lining my upper lash line with this, and this is really, really, really subtle and um, minimalistic. I guess. Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Cool Eyeliner in the color white and I'm just going to warm it up on my hand a little bit and then apply it to my waterline just to, you know, make things a little brighter, make me look more awake. Then I'm going to take the brown color again and just pat this over it with a precision brush to set it. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and now I'm taking the Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara and that's what the wand looks like. And I'm just applying that to my eyelashes. Now I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Blush Duo in the color Hang Loose. This is from the In the Groove Collection, but it's just a really pretty duo. And I'm just going to be taking the two colors and mixing them together and applying them onto my cheeks for like a pinky glow with a hint of lavender. Then I'm taking the Revlon lipstick in the color 668 Primrose. And it's just a really pretty wearable pink. And I'm just applying that onto my lips. And yeah. Then I'm taking this Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in the color Crystal Candy. And I really, really think this goes with that um, thing because it has like this like purpley reflect to it, which I think is really, really pretty, but it's also really subtle. So I'm just going to put that onto my lips. So that's the finished look. Thanks for watching. Okay, so thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you guys like it. I think it's a really nice tutorial. Um, just... Yeah, I hope you guys like it, and um, check the description box for all the links and products and everything. Leave a comment below with any questions, suggestions, requests. You guys know the drill. Um, 
and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!